I love birthdays, and this isn't just a birthday for one friend or two friends, but it's for the whole world. Rosh Hashanah, the birthday of the world. And I can't wait to celebrate with Oh no. Nobody's here. The birthday party is ruined. No Rosh Hashanah. Hi, Dale. Uh, uh, aren't you going to ask me why I'm crying? Oh, Dale, I think I know. You're upset because there's nobody here to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. Yes! Aren't you upset? Why aren't you crying? Oh, Dale, <laughs> I was upset for a very, very long time. I love Rosh Hashanah. I love singing, being with friends, dipping apples in honey, listening to the shofar. <gasps> no shofar? But then I learned from Rabbi Ain and Rabbi Russell that shana, our Hebrew word for year, is the same root as shona, or different. You mean when we say manishtana? On, on Passover. Passover, exactly, when we celebrate freedom. So Rosh Hashanah can be a new year, or it can be... Dale. Mm -hmm. It could be a new change. More Derek Adam! Yes, and if we say Shana Tova, it can mean good year, but it could also mean a good... A good change! Teacher Catherine! Teacher Dale! Yay! So Rosh Hashanah can still be our birthday party for the world. With apples, tapuchim, and honey, dvash, and shofar, shofar. It's just that since our shana is going to be a little bit shona, a little bit different, our happy new year, our shana tova, will have to be a, a good, good change. Lishana tova tikatevu. Nishana Tova Tikatevu. May you be written down for a good year. Uh, excuse me, um, Jonathan. Uh, you know how we were talking about this Shana Tova um, could also mean a, a good change? I feel good if we could change the tune up a little bit for that. Is that possible, you think? Sure. What, what did you have in mind? Maybe something like. <laughs> This year is different, but we'll still have fun with apples, honey, shofar too. Shana tova, tika tevu. Shana tova, tika tevu. Tika tevu, yeah. Shana tova, whoo. A tika tevu. Shana tova, oh yeah. A tika tevu. Shana tova. A tika tevu. Shana Oh, tika tevu, shana tova, tika tevu, tika tevu. Seems like a reasonable change. Shana tova. A happy, healthy, and sweet new year. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova. Shana tova. Happy new year. Shana tova. Happy new year. 
Hi everyone, this is Gene, Ayal, Ben and Adam and Ronnie. We just want to wish everyone a Shana Tova Umetuka and we hope to see you all soon. Shana Tova. Shana Tova, Happy New Year. Shana Tova. Shana Tova and Happy New Year. Shana Tova. Happy 5781. Woo! Happy New Year. Happy New Shana Tova to all of you. Thank you, everybody, who sent in those wonderful clips from our Best Shalom community. I am so privileged to be here in our Beit Knesset. Ma Tovu, how beautiful it is. But our people have not always had these big, beautiful synagogues. No, the Jewish people used to live in tents, and they prayed in tents, too. And that's why we sing, Ma Tovu. Wait, somebody left an actual, oh hell, an actual tent in the Beit Knesset. Huh. Matovu. Shalom, Jonathan. Oh, halacha. Hi, Catherine. Nia hakov. Mishkano. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Dale. Tehecha Yisrael. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Adam. How good it is. Matovu. Oh, Hi, Jonathan. Great hat. Oh, halacha yakov. Mishkanotecha Yisrael. Okay. Don't think anybody else is coming out of that tent. Vani berov chastecha avovetecha eshtacha vae elhecha el kochecha meiratecha. Hi, Jonathan. Hello, construction worker. Matovu. Nice shofar. Oh, halacha yakov. Hot dog, I hope you're kosher. I am. Israel. Matovu. How wonderful are our tents. Our next bracha, hallelujah, is something you should get up and dance to. And if you have some instruments at home, you should get them. Our actual Hebrew prayer says, Praise God, hallelujah, with shofar. Praise God. But sealed soleil with symbols, and most of all, praise God with your nishama, with your breath. And it's got kind of a beat. It kind of goes like this. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, uh. Adam, Dale, Catherine, you think you could say that back to me? That'd be great. Ready? I say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sound like a choir. Hallelujah. 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 Take our shofar. Hallelujah. Never chino. Hallelujah. Tofu macho. Everybody, can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say I want candy. I want candy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready, everybody? Say yeah. 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 Are you ready? Everybody say yeah. 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 Say yeah. 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 Everybody take a great deep breath. Oh, Hanshama. Te hallelujah. Everything that breathes praises God. Oh, Hanshama. Te hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that breathes praises God with breath. Hallelujah. A hallelujah indeed. I love that psalm. It gets me so excited for our call to worship when we truly pray together as a community. We're going to use our special high holiday melody that Adam didn't want me to use before to say our Baruch Hu. I'm going to call out first. Everybody get ready to bless God. And you at home will say, we bless God forever. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Vaed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Yotzer Hor Uvrei Choshech Bless you, God, creator of light, darkness, maker of peace and wholeness, who has created everything. And now we're going to do the Shema. The Shema is a bracha, and we are acknowledging the people of Israel, God's greatness and God's oneness. And often when you do the Shema, you can do a shin with your fingers. Can everyone create a shin with their three fingers, and often people put it on their forehead and close their eyes and say, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha bechol levavcha Uv shoch becha, uv kumecha. Ukshar tam leot al yadecha, vehayula tota fohot bene necha. Uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Rosh Hashanah is a time where we think about the past year. Think about the mistakes we've made and how we are going to try better in the year to come. This is hard. We need help to do that. Help from our friends, our teachers, of course our parents. And we also need help from God. We have a special prayer that we use to call out to God. But we don't use it on Shabbat because even God needs to Shabbat Fash needs to rest and restore God's soul on Shabbat. So we're not going to sing the words, but I'll tell you what they are so you're ready when we dive in together on Yom Kippur. Avinu Malkenu. God, you are like a parent to us and you are also like a ruler. Save those words in your brain and I'm just going to hum the tune right now and we'll be ready on Yom Kippur to ask for God's help and we know we will receive it. Ibn so Aaron va Yomer Moshe 
Koma Adonai Vea Futsu Oivecha Vea Nusu Misanecha Mi Panecha Say Torah, Udevar Adonai, Mi Yerushalayim, Baruch Shenatan Torah, Le Amo Yisrael, Bik Tushato. Oh, the Torah comes out on Chag. 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 When we read Torah on Rosh Hashanah, we read about Isaac and his mother Sarah, and Ishmael and his mother Hagar. Their stories remind us of many things, of laughter and celebration, but also of making mistakes and needing help. The shofar, with its special origin and its special sound, reminds us of all these things when it announces the birthday of the world. But why did God pick the shofar to be Rosh Hashanah's announcing tool? A long time ago, when all the people lived in one place, getting the news was easy. They had yellers who would walk around town, and after a few minutes of yelling, everybody knew the news. It's Monday morning. Traffic on the one road is backed up from our rock all the way to the metering lamps. But when people began living all over the place, even the yellers couldn't yell loud enough to get the news around. Mostly, people just didn't get the news at all. But some special times just had to be announced and the new year was one of those times. So God asked the people to go find an announcing tool to let everyone know when Rosh Hashanah was coming. The next day... God, listen to this fine announcing tool. It's two rocks, and when I bang them together, it makes an amazing sound. How can a rock announce the new year. Rocks don't make music, they only make noise. The new year is a time for music and singing, not banging and yelling. Hey, God, try these cymbals. Stop! Cymbals do make a strong sound, but they're made of iron, metal that's used to make tools that could hurt other people. The new year is a time for shalom, for peace. 
a time to be kind to everyone, not a time to hurt others. The townspeople continued to look for the perfect announcing tool. What you see here, God, is the perfect announcing tool. It's golden and it's not made of iron. It is a perfect announcing tool. Listen. <laughs> Wow, the golden trumpet is a good announcing tool. Good, but not good enough. The golden trumpet makes loud, beautiful music, but it's made by somebody who pounded it and rolled it and shaped it. I want a natural announcing tool that is not made of gold. Prices are going up. Nobody could afford such an announcing tool. Excuse me, Hashem, El Elyon. Have you considered banana phone? Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. I'll consider the banana phone, but keep looking just in case. The townspeople were getting depressed, but they knew how important it was to find the perfect announcing tool. So they kept looking. Finally, God, we, we are a little embarrassed to show you this announcing tool. But after all the things you said, it's, it's, not, it's not made out of iron. It's not golden. It's been bent, but it was only bent by a ram. And, and, and I think that it, can announce, and it can announce what you want it to do, and it's loud enough. Is, is it good enough? Why are you not so sure? Well, you see, God, I've been practicing all morning, and, and sometimes when I blow it, I only make a like little... And then sometimes it turns out to be more like But I just don't know if it's good enough or loud enough. Wow, you have done so well. The ram's horn is a perfect announcing tool. It's natural and loud and it can make beautiful sounds. I know it's hard to play, but that's the best thing of all. Rosh Hashanah is a celebration but it's also a time to think about our mistakes and ask for help. That's hard, and it takes practice. Just, just like, like blowing the shofar. shofar. Then God sat down and taught the townspeople how to blow the shofar for the big celebration. The new year, they practiced for a whole month, and then on Rosh Hashanah, Kol Shofar, the voice of the shofar announced the new year. Jonathan, will you do the shofar song for us? Ring, 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 banana phone. No, no. The shofar blast song. The song that teaches us the three blasts. Tikiya, Shivarim, and Shrua. I can do it if Adam Lowy will help me. Jonathan, I'm ready to help. I brought my shofar. I like to hear the shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear that shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. The first call to Kia. The second call, Shavarim. The third call, nine short alarms, Teru. Ah, 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 ah. I like to hear that shofar blast. Sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear that shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. I'm glad you like this shofar song. There's one more blast and it's really, really long. Adam, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Yagadola. To hear that so far
glass Sometimes slow and sometimes fast I like to hear the shofar blast Happy, happy, happy new year Let's do that happy again Happy, happy, happy new year This time with a Broadway finish Happy, happy, happy new year I love the sound of that shofar. That shofar reminds me that we truly have had a Shana Tova, a year of change, and a new year, and a good year. Hi, Carl. Carl's going to help take us out of our Shana Tova. There's only one word of this song, and I think you know what it is. Play it, man. this Shana Tova with us. I hope you are having a wonderful time wherever you are with your friends and your family. Please join us back here in 10 days in the exact same place where we'll celebrate Yom Kippur. Tika Tevu, may you be written down for a good year and may it be sealed. Tekia!